How's it going, everyone? Are you having a wonderful Saturday? Well, I hope you are, because today we are playing Explorer, Agent of Treachery Explorer. And you know what that means? Well, that, that means that a bunch of people are not going to have a wonderful Saturday. They're going to be pretty disappointed in their Saturday. But you know what? That's absolutely fine. Because as we all know, that is just the price of paying magic. You can have fun or you can be had fun upon. And there's usually a better choice in this scenario. And that choice is playing Agent of Treachery and Explorer and absolutely destroying the morale of a couple of people. That's right. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. In any case, the build is easy. We have Agent of Treachery. This bad boy costs seven. And this is a bad win condition. That's why we have Jace, because we're gonna mill ourselves after stealing every single land that, that, that's not literally nailed down to the floor. Oh yes, it's gonna be great. And to achieve that, we have things like Blood for Bones, Gate of Afterlife, and God Pharaoh's statues. Six creatures in the graveyard. Congratulations! You can flip this bad boy for two mana and get a uh, and get a God Pharaoh's gift. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then you can start resurrecting agents of treachery. And then we have things like Tessa and Spark Double, because this fun can't obviously just stop at one agent of treachery. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be considered illegal in most places. It's, at, at least that's what I think. It's probably not illegal. But in any case, we have one, uh, two over otherworldly gates, because this card this is kind of ridiculously strong in a lot of cases. And things like this. You draw a card, you discard a card, you mill two cards. Not a fan of the mill, honestly. But, Mire Trident is amazing because it's dead touching you gain 2 life. That's gonna be big against a lot of things, believe it or not. Rona, because that's a new additive. Champion of Wits, obviously. Tomebound, a Lich, because this is one of my favorite cards ever. And, well, you know, a bunch of lands. 21 lands to be specific. Oh, I actually have the wrong camera on. Ah, whatever, it's fine, no one cares. 3.6 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado... Let's just get a cracking and see what happens because it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun It's it's gonna be exactly everything you wanted to see in life minus everything you actually wanted to ever see in your life What it's a trade-off in any case, let's go. Let's see what happens. The combo is relatively easy Relatively I say because wizards has well wizards really knows this combo. Okay when it came out and a lot more people played Historic than Standard, well, things like this were extremely common to see. And trust me, if you were not playing it, you weren't exactly happy noises about seeing it. And we got a gate, our opponent goes first, Gren, okay, okay. Ooh, Blood for Boons, nice. Okay, do we sack one Jace? Well, it's green, so we don't kind of care about not sacking a Jace, I guess. Uh, this is gonna be some kind of big leap play, Alea. And yeah, three blood for bones, wizards. Call me, call me not exactly surprised here. Okay, that's a bit unexpected, not gonna lie. Interesting, interesting. Hexproof, but yeah, that's not how that card works, my, my, my friendo. In any case, I can just drop this as uh, black. Yeah, let's just drop it as black, and let's do this. Otherworldly gaze is gonna be a possibility. Ooh, double Jace. Okay, okay. Uh, do I attack? Yeah, sure. Why not? Honestly, got got the thing. Why not do the stuffs? So, what's the plan here? What's the plan? The plan is simple. We're gonna probably otherworldly uh, gaze, and he just did a ram through. Wow! Would you ever expect that? Okay, at least he's. Well, are you kidding me? Is this legal? Yo, this guy's doing illegal things! Very much illegal things, in fact. Well, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get a creature, I think we're absolutely gooch. So, let's see. Agent of Yes Sir! And a bunch of useless MacGuffins. Okay, okay. So, that's three cards in the graveyard. We're kinda close. And I'm gonna otherworldly gaze to just make sure we get more. Because this guy, whatever he's playing, kinda strong start, but at the same time, kinda, kinda weak of a finish, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, there's a good chance we get a 3-drop, 2-drop. Uh, we got a 2-drop, let's see. 
Oh yeah, I like this. I like draw. Woo! For a moment there, for a moment there, my brain slipped, and I, I thought things were going bad, man. But it was good, man, actually. Uh, do I need another blood for bones? I actually need to save that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Only three. Jeez, Louise, that's not a lot, huh? Ah, uh, sure. Ditch that blood for bones in. Might as well drop this. I need one more. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Let's let let let's keep keep it a stack. Let's keep it a buck. Because he could just literally fight things with this, and then we would be. Are you kidding me? Well, we got a land. Ooh. -oo. Another agent of treachery. Dude, my boy. Okay, do I lose? I think I... Oh, I should have dropped the land because if we draw a land now, we can actually... We can actually survive on a technical level. Another gate. Wait, do we have six? What do you mean we have six? How? Well, not that I'm gonna complain about a good thing. Uh, press the library button now. Uh, do this. And it's amazing. And what, what, what else? What else? Okay, do this. And let's see. What do we want? Honestly, Agent of Treachery is kind of big, but I need to do the math here. If I block that, that's three. Ah, uh, yeah, we can just go for Agent of La Treacheras and uh, do this. Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Okay. Now, Waver's still... No! 1 HP! Good game? What's good Good about it? You literally had 15 ram throughs. Like some kind of barbarian. Man, wait. I could... Wait, I could have stealed the stupid... Oh my god, I could have... I, 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 I could have... I could have stolen this planty boy. Well, then again, I don't think it matters. Look at this guy. He he has all the fighting mechanics. So if I didn't steal this, yeah, maybe that wouldn't affect. Maybe that would have changed something. Damn it! So close, so close. It no cigar. And well, I also could have. No, no, no. I couldn't because that was a buff. Ah, oh, did you have fun? No, wizards. You literally did not give me a rat. You did not give me. Well, you gave him all the ram throughs with the card that actually ram throughs, which was kind of annoying. But you see, you see, you see the power there. Imagine a different scenario because this is exploded again. I will remind everyone, which is pretty much just historical light in a lot of senses because wizards abandoned the format. Ten out of ten wizards. But wizards enter. Do not tell wizards that I said bad things about them. I do not want to get assassinated or you know whatever come, comes in between those things. Oh yeah, so imagine a world where our opponent actually did not have 15 ram throughs and fight mechanics and whatnot. He would have lost because no one has removal in this format. You see, we currently can't even find a player because of how bad this format is. Well played, also wizards adding formats and you know then not caring about them, letting them completely rot away, and you know. And not removing them. That that's a great thing. I'm sure that's gonna be good for new players and whatnot. In any case, Yorion Sky Nomad. Wow, call, colored me surprised. Can I even do anything with this hand? No. Wow, the hands are horrid. Okay, good. That's at least something. So let's see. Otherworldly gaze. Sounds like a plan. Homebound Lich. Well, this does not look that bad. On the 100th card Yorion Sky Nomad. You know what that means? This guy is going to probably have the luckiest hand ever seen by humanity. This guy. All of this is discardable. Wow. This guy is not going to be just lucky. He's going to be the epitome of luck. This guy most likely has the solution to any problem in the known dimension in, uh, in there. Okay? Because th that that's how th these things work. Okay, let's do this. Uh, next turn, if we can go for... Ooh, got an Agent of Treachery. Not bad, not bad. So that's one card in the graveyard. I like it. I like it. Also, wait, is this not alchemized? Ooh, scales. Okay, so you're telling me... 
A hundred card Yorion has hardened skills and an aspirant in the opener. Yeah, seems about right for, you know, wizard shenanigans, not gonna lie. Seems about on honestly point. Oh boy, okay, in any case, not gonna attack, obviously. Let's see if the uh, gate to the afterlife survives. This is technically an easy win as long as... Oh, he even has a Chubbums for some reason. And an abortion grazer. Been a while, my friend. How are you doing? Still disgusting? Well, good saddish to you? I, I, I'm not even sure. In any case, gain one life because that's how, uh, that's how it works. And that's not bad. Do I wanna? Yeah, I'm gonna ditch the Tessa. I'm gonna ditch the Tessa. Oh, juicy! Okay, okay. What up? Finally, we got rewarded for our vigilance, for our patience, for our everything. And instantaneously, we got uh, not rewarded yet again. Okay, I think it's champion of its o'clock. We need draws, boys. We need, we need draws. Okay, that's, that's honestly not the worst case scenario here. Okay, how much do we have here? One, two, three! Okay, not impressive. <laughs> not exactly impressive, but it is what it is. Ah, that was painful! In any case, we have otherworldly gays. Oh no! Whoa, you Yorionin, my boy? You actually Yorion? Okay. So... Otherworldly gaze, let's go. Let, let us go and, and resolve the otherworldly, I believe. But yeah, yeah, that's actually full of... Boys! What can I say? I'm a believer! And now, it's done. It's over. The fat lady sang. Well, the fat... Well, the fat lady sang and she got... And then did listen. That's how it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Unless he has a way to deal with this in a very inconspicuous manner. And I don't even know what the verb inconspicuous means. He was look- he- my- Boys, he was looking at my st- I didn't- I did not enjoy how he was looking at my stuff. But that's fine. But that's- Wait a minute! If you yori- Oh, he didn't- so, if he Yor- can he target my th no, he can't target my things, obviously, that would make Yorian overpowered. And wizards- No, I still don't understand exactly what's the deal, but th the hard-on that wizards has for Yorians having the most perfect hands in the universe. Now, I don't know. So, there's two options, there's, there's two scenarios I have thought about Yorian. One, wizard on wizards only puts me up against Yorian decks. For the most part, when those losers need to win and they need to win hard. So, you know, they have a hundred cards and yet they have the ramp, the combo, the wombo and they pretty much win on turn four. Usually it's kind of like that. <laughs> Usually it's kind of like that. But, man, recently it's been a little bit different. I have actually been winning against Yorians. My win rate against Yorians, I mean, it's still pretty low. I have an 80%-ish loss rate against Yorions, because every time I play against those fools, they have the perfect hand and perfect everything. So, the my, my idea is, what's what, what's happening here, wizards? Yeah, Mulligan, thank you. Wow, what what a time to be alive. Oh, I should have actually ditched God Pharaohs. Well, whatever. Vampires? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, look at that! No one cares that t Hey, this card is not exactly bad against me. It's kind of good in a lot of senses. But in any case... Either I'm playing in Stiorions when those losers need to win and they need to win- Ooh, Hell yeah, brother. Oh, and that's also pretty good. Yeah, so I'm only gonna ditch this. I can easily do that on turn 3 and then sag the God Pharaohs. And it's gonna be fine. I call it God Pharaohs, but... Hello? Oh my god, he's a Polymum Hamamonitkan. And he just literally got the combo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He literally got the combo right now. Mamma mia. That's a spicy meatball. Well... 
Oh, he actually has a- okay, so he has a rat. That's hilarious. So he already had a rat, and then he just instant a yep. Oh no, he had that card. I mean, what a great time to be pressing the concede button right there, boys. Would I lie to you? No. But that's why no one plays this fun. Dude, the rat reanimator with the panel harmonicon is the most annoying shit ever. It is just so stupid. Honestly, and the fact that when you see it, it always pops off, it just makes it double the absolute annoyance. What's wrong with those people? Well, doesn't doesn't honestly matter in my opinion, but hey, it is what it is. In any case, let's go on. A Pyrexian text. Yeah, I'm sure wizards, a lot of people read Pyrexian right there. Also, literal dead race. Good stuff. Okay, so. Helene and Elena Avatar. How much can... Oh, look at that! A hand we did not need to mulligan. Wizards, you, you, you losing the grip, you know? And also, an agent of Trashere. Oh boy, if only you would not create a token, my life would be fulfilled. Admittedly, it's pretty easy just to get something like this and then just uh, scry it away until, uh, until you get the right thing. But, you know, point being... Come on, l let's do this. P cat, put the cat on purple. Oh, put the cat on purple now. Bam. And let's see, what do we get? Ooh, kind of juiced, honestly, but... Yeah, I, I have this for turn two, so what do I care if I don't actually get anything? This is already three, uh, three things in the graveyard. Ooh, boys! Ooh, boys! And that's a bunch of lands. Do I care about a third land? Honestly, not currently no i can champions of fits ditch another test it's gonna be amazing okay aggro schmagro no one cares do this uh champion of wits yes sir actually Ooh, ooh. wait do i want no i don't want an agent of treachery at the moment yeah that's that's fine Okay, so next turn I literally just drop this, or I can wait, I can try and get another land. It doesn't matter, we already have 6 cards in the gravy. In any case, we have 22, 24, Ah! Loser! Loser alert! Ah, he's a loser! Oh no, wizards, what are you doing? What are you doing? 1, 2... Three, four, five. Oh no! What do you mean you're gonna do that garbage? Dude! Literal! 100% counter! What's wrong with you? Wizards! What's wrong? Why do you always... So, here's the backstory to Agent of Treachery if you do not know this. This card was so easy to combo in the times of Historic. There was a literal time when this was the number one deck in Historic. There was nothing stronger than it, and that was like for a month or something like that. It was absolutely the wildest thing you have ever seen in your life, in fact. No, I'm serious. You could get these bad boys out on turn three even. It wasn't even that hot. It was insane. If you just drop a second one of those, I'm gonna... S oh! Oh my. One, two, blah, blah, blah. I can get this back, but do I want to get it back? Let's see what he does. Let's, let's, let's see what are the plays here. Sack it. Okay. Oh, come on! Come on! Man! Dude, if he actually gets one, two, three, six... Dude, if he actually gets... If he drops a second one of these with his stupid mirror box, I'm gonna scream. But yeah. When... And this was so effective because there was absolutely no way to count, uh, counterplay it, honestly. It, it just happened on turn 3 constantly. You... Uh, Wizards did not curate the RNG as hard as they are currently. So the game was a lot different, believe it or not. And one of the things that happened a lot different was the RNG. At one point, Wizards 
You know what they do? Oof, another one. Well, I'm just gonna do this. I'm, I, I'm casting Baseline Agent of Treachery at this point. What a time to be alive. Actually, Champion of Witch should kind of do it, but... He's he's exiling my shit! Ha! This... But, but yeah, then they started doing things like this. So, the first thing was, this thing was completely overpowered, and we spent a month in a historic meta, at least, where this thing was just the absolute peak of anything, right? No one could win against this. After that, Wizards decided to nerf this. And they decided to nerf this by putting... What is this garbage? Well, I guess it doesn't matter what is this garbage, because my, uh, our boy is just, you know, doing... doing st Dude! Perfectly countered. And then, they decided to, uh, to nerf Agent by of Treachery by making it so you do not draw any of them. Like, literally, there would be so many situations where people would have games with Agent of Treachery and they would find that they're all four copies of Agent of Treachery were the bottom ten cards. It, it would happen constantly. That, that's how Wizards nerfed Agent of Treachery the first time. But then, they uh, an expansion came, I don't remember what it was, Ikoria, Ikoria or whatever, and they introduced the pl the Planeswalker with the pet pet rodent. Well, not pet rodent, that's the hamster guy. The, the pet flying squirrel. That one, Luca. And Luca had a very neat effect you, that you could combine with tokens. Essentially, you could exile something on the battlefield, creature-wise, that you control, and then you would search out uh, something that was equal or higher mana or whatever. Essentially, point being, when that happened, you uh, you just created tokens, played Luka, exiled, and there you go. Agent of Treachery is now found again. So, Agent of Treachery again was back in the lom Lomlight spotlight. And it was great. <laughs> Obviously, it was great. Everyone loved it so much. And then, v Wizards nerfed it again. The, I think this is where the uh, huge rigging of the game started. Because again, Agent of Treachery is just blatantly overpowered, right? There, there's nothing you can do against it. It, it. It's a card that just absolutely breaks the game on every fundamental. I guess this is kind of good, but at the same time kind of big sus. Okay, let's see if it's he's gonna angel us. Oh boy. Is, is it gonna be perfect? Righteous Valkyrie or the other three angel thingy? Please, do it. Also, I should be playing the, the other one. Oh, my. Okay, that's not perfect at all, my dude. Also, if you do the invulnerability combo, I am just gonna take this. Okay, so that could technically work. Uh, in any case, let's do this. I need three le- Dude, what is this? This is insane in the membrane. Well, we actually got it, so I'm kind of happy about it, but you know, hey. Okay, and now we can just... Oh, yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Do we have... Oh, we have a spotted double in hand. Yo, wizards! You finally gave a boy a bone! What a time to be... Well, actually, no, we're still not, uh, we're still not out of the dark zone. Unless he doesn't play an angel. He played Gid, the most useless angel in existence. Well, he's gonna get, he's gonna get saws there, so, you know... It's not perfect, perfect, but you know, it, it, oh, baby. Okay, okay. Finally, 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 your boy getting a bone. Nice, look at this. Bam. And what do we want back in the hand? Probably this, probably this. And let me just take that from you, okay? It seems like it's it seems like it's you know a little bit too big for you, you know. In any case, let's see. Are you gonna uh, if okay? He has a shot if he does stupid stuff now, and by stupid stuff I mean literally plays two angels in a row. Well, maybe. Ooh, righteous Valkyrie is super weak sauce. I like it. I like it. I like it. And I don't even know what you're supposed to... Well, I actually know, but you're kind of trash most of the time I do it, so, you know, r l l let's just chillax here a little bit, okay? Creates another angel. That's very impressive. 
Thank you, also, I would like to say. I really appreciate the fact that you want to contribute to my angel farm. Ha 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 ha! Ah, thank you. I could have never done it without you. Yo, this guy's not happy. <laughs> this guy's not exactly happy about it. Oh, boy. Oh, do you think... He got nothing. Oh no, Wizards is, uh, Wizards is throwing me a bone, boys. Wizards is just throwing me a bone. You know what's the best part about this bone throwing? The fact that I can spark double this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I? Eh, yeah, whatever. Honestly, you know, not even a big deal. You want to spark, uh, spark double the uh, Tessa? Which is, which is usually the super giga smart play. I'm gonna take your... Actually, I'm gonna take... No, I'm gonna just take this. It's fine. Okay, and now we can attack with the Tessa, which doesn't mean honestly a lot in this situation, but you get it. Man. Man. Oh, and currently Agent of Treachery is just uh, nerfed in the way that honestly everything in the game is nerfed. Okay, I'm not gonna get the Tessa out of this play, but it's fine. Also, we're drawing so much cards now. This is why I'm going for the self-mill route, by the way. Because the self-mill route is the best mill route, okay? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take this now. Thank you. Thank you very much for your understanding. I, appre I appreciate you, my dude. In any case, let's see. If we drop the... This is two. <laughs> he tapped it. <laughs> He actually tapped it. That's kind of hilarious. Well, in any case, let's see. This got a bunch of stuff. Sure, why not? Let's see. What are we gonna do? Again, see, most of them scoop. It's completely understandable. What are you gonna do? You know, 30 HP? Okay, so what? I'm hitting for like 15 at least. Or 69. Depends on the situation. And it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Also... Man, what a day is gonna be today. Again, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm gonna complain about my life also now. And don't worry, it's not actually complaining. Real men do not complain about their lives. Oh, actually, I also wanted to teach you something important today. But the, uh, first... Oh, well, actually, the complaining part is also the teaching part. No one likes a man who complains a lot. No one. No one. Complaining is this magical thing where you can... You know, complaining, sulking, and whatnot is this magical thing where you can get one-time pity from a person. But the moment you start doing it more than one times, uh, that person is gonna start to dislike you real fast. So don't do it. Today I need to go to my grandma's. I'm going with my father, so it's gonna be great. There's, there's gonna be a bunch of people at my grandma's. She's doing this thing where... It's a meetup of old friends or whatever, and when I mean old, I mean kind of literally old. It's, it's, and, and we're watching probably hockey. I don't care about hockey at even the most slightest minimal level in this world. So, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's, it's gonna be great. Ooh, is this a poison bill? Do you think this is a poison, boyo? Maybe. Let's see. Tessa? Actually, keep Tessa. Actually, am I keeping everything of this? Almost. Yeah, almost. Wow. It's insane. In any case. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fun. So, I'm technically rushing to do this video. It's it's the wee hours of the morning. And, oh boy. Oh boy, our opponent's doing stuff. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this one bit. What do we even discard? Well, usually it's the Jace. We discard the Jace usually in these situations. We have two Jaces, so it's fine. Okay, let's see what he does. Let's see what's the play. Oh, 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 he didn't attack, which means good. It's still annoying that he can do that, but you know, kind of good, kind of good. Every Everything going pretty sneezy. I like it. How many? One card. Oh, another one. Well, technically, another one or not another one. I can uh, do this. Mill a bit. I actually should have done it the other way around, but never punished, boyos. Okay, so. God, no, no. Oh, 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 that's good, that's good. So, do I actually sack it now? Huh. 
Oh, let's. Oh, venerated. Yo, this guy's annoying. This guy's being annoying. Someone stop him. Admittedly, he's out of cards, so that's kind of good. But out of cards or not, annoying. In any case, let me just introduce you to my little friend. And now let's just get a Mire Triton back just for safekeeping, okay? Uh, not gonna steal land. Gonna take this because he's probably emotionally dependent on this card a little bit. And I like that. Oh, look at that! It's no one... Dude, are you gonna attack me? You should. Wait, you actually did. Insane in the membrane! Insane in the brain! Yeah, that did not expect that, honestly, to happen. But in any case, good stuff. And let me just be basic, okay? I'm gonna be just basic here. I'm, I'm gonna take this and uh, thank you, thank you very much. And look at that. I'm the poison build now. Yeah? What now? Oh yeah, I'm the poison build now, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, and also we're proliferating the, the agent of treachery, which is hilarious. But yeah, that's gonna be it. And for the tip, because this is something that I, I... I knew that people are doing this wrong a long time, but I never actually thought that this is gonna be import, uh, uh, important in any way, honestly. So, you know, that, that that's, that, that's kind of all I, I can say about it. But... I'm gonna teach you manipulation, but very basic manipulation. I always try to make these uh, make these manipulation teachings and theories very understandable, and this one's probably gonna be the most understandable, if I'm being completely honest. This is not gonna be how to actually manipulate people to like you. This is how how this is gonna be a teaching how to manipulate pe people so they don't dislike you, which is equally important. Let's be real. And that teaching is very, 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 very simple. And it's it's like this. When someone tells you something, uh, be it that they like a movie, that they like this song, that they like this group, that they like this thing or whatever, chances are that's not something that they just uh, tell anyone. You know, especially in a two-on-two -two conversation the dynamic scenario. Chances are they're telling that to you because they think of you in a good way, a good manner. To a degree, they like you a little bit, maybe at least. And in this situation, even if they tell you something that you absolutely despise, you do not say, oh, that's stupid, oh, that's shit, oh, that's weak sauce, oh, oh, that blah, blah, blah. You do not tell them anything bad. If you dislike that, you, you can just let them off by saying, Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, oh, yeah, I know that genre of music. I, I Some songs are pretty good. I, I'm not the biggest fan, but yeah, that song is not bad, true. And that's how you instantaneously make them like, like you, I don't know, five levels more, right there on the spot. Very small thing. But if you say that that, that song is shit or whatever, they are... All that like that they had potentially for you, out the window, vanishes. It's a very easy way to make someone dislike you from uh, initially liking you. So, you know, a, a small thing that you should avoid at all costs. And pe people, people screw this up a lot, especially stupid people. And if you don't think that this happens a lot, schools. Most of us has, have probably went to school. Am I right? Probably. And, wow, what's the, what's, what's the deal with these one land openers? It's just pathetic, wizards. Come on, step it up, st step it up. In any case, you know, who has n not been in a situation where they have at least heard someone else say, yeah, I like this, and someone, uh, someone else said, yeah, that's stupid, that shit, and that person was instantaneously uh, not happy. How many times have you throughout, because most likely you have experienced this at least one time in your life, right? You have told someone you like something and they said that's stupid, and you're instantaneously not exactly... Well, I, I thought I, I, I saw many colors and I thought things happening well close You know how many how many situations like that have been when you say that you like something and someone uh, calls you stupid for it You're probably not too happy seriously man confused. Wow. What a time to be alive Uh, bard class. Oh boy. Oh boy 
I think I know why we started with one land, because this, 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 this specimen needed it, okay? This specimen absolutely 100% needed it. Oof, do we think, do you think we're getting a third land? I think he's gonna drop like two creatures for free now. I, I think that's the life we're living. Maybe, who knows? Maybe, maybe we luck out. But in any case, you, you kind of get the point that I'm going for. And that's important. This is how you lose, you know, maybe? Maybe? Oh, 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 he played a thing. Wait, he that just means he can play. Yeah, yeah, there, there we go. The zero cost. Oh, look at that. Double. I told you. Double zero cost. Why? Because it's the easiest play in the universe. That That is like, without question, the best play that can happen. I didn't expect the Domri, though. That's completely insane that he pulled that off. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, there's nothing we can do here. <laughs> there's nothing we can draw. There's nothing we can do here to win. And we didn't draw the second lane, third lane. Nice, wizards. Very nice. Man, you see, again, Agent of Treachery is fun and it's gonna ruin the day for a couple of people, but be careful so it doesn't ruin your day because Wizards is gonna be... Well, they have a whip in their hand and not, they're not afraid to use it. Wow. Yeah, this is why people don't play Magic that much. This is why people choose to watch Magic instead because... Man, a lot of you just like suffering, okay? A lot of you enjoy just watching people suffer. What's wrong with you? Well, actually, nothing. That's that's a perfectly valid way to do things, in my opinion. Huzzah! In any case, onward we go. Also, my phone's probably charged, but I, 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 I can't reach it. Oh, and I'm wearing booty shorts. Well, you don't know if that's true or not. Maybe I'm lying, but then again, would I ever lie to you? No, of course not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man... Imagine Wizard's system going currently absolutely overboard, you know, trying to rub its last two brain cells together at the speed of light so it can actually create a matchmaking for the people playing Exploded. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. You, because you know the system is like absolutely at its strain. Huh, hell, even if nothing's happening. Oh, look at that. Yeah, four lands after that, that right there. Mm hmm Wizards. Very subtle. Very subtle. Uh, elves or shamans? Who honestly knows, right? In any case, got Champion of Wits. Also, by the way, remember the good old times when this was an OPOP -OP card? Yeah. There was a time like that. It was called the Dark Times. And none of this is... Did I just not this? Oh, boy. Well, I... Well, whatever. May, maybe we... Oh! Oh! Someone's popping off again. Dude, wizards, you have... Le I have literally only popped off one time. And this guy goes first, and there we go. There, there, there we go. There, there we go. And another one. <sighs> Yay. This has trample, I can't even stop it. Okay, let's see what we get. Ooh, a Mire Triton, not bad. Well, the Riddle of Sun is completely bonk useless. So, well, maybe there's a slight chance we survive, because next turn we can do the Gaze, and... Well, we have nothing in the Gray... Oh, look at that! You know, if this wasn't already brutal enough, you know, Wizards is just gonna make it a little bit more on top, you know? Just, just skim it, as they say. And another one! Deep breaths, deep breaths. I can get through this. I can get through this. I, I, I can. Like the video, subscribe, join, and uh, press the join button on the YouTube. You know, the Twitch subscription thing. Do it, because daddy needs it, okay? Da da daddy, daddy needs some... Oh, look at that. Just more free shit. Yay. Wizards, why can't I play Shakedown Heavy and get this to happen? Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I'm conceding. <laughs> that's not even a choice at this point. That That's not even funny. Oh, but you could have saved Riddle! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save Riddle of Sud, then what? 
the god got with is still dead, and it's gonna actually OTK me in like two extra turns, and there's nothing I can do about it. What you can play, but you can save the video of the shit. But sha! Oh boy. Also, by the way, we could play the one cost zombie, but the one cost zombie is the one cost zombie, and I'm not feeling it. Okay. You know, we could do it, but I will not do it. That's my choice. If you want to put the one cost zombie, do it. I do not like self milling when they're playing graveyards, at least for the most time. Admittedly, there is gonna be some wiki wooey graveyard thing that I'm gonna make that's gonna insta mill, and it's gonna insta mill in the style that ever, no one has ever seen before. It's gonna be great. Co. Zero three two eight. Nah, that's not that's not Discord's co. There's no shot because he would instantaneously surrender because you know he knows he's gonna get demoted if he tries to fight me. Oh look! That. Oh no, it's not a reanimator. The moment you see the, these colors, you usually just know it's a reanimator, but it wasn't. Wow. Okay, that's a good hit, dude. The fact that we actually struggle to put things in our graveyard, considering one third of our graveyard is things that are put in the graveyard, is insane, by the way, wizards. Just gonna point that one out there, chief. It's kinda insane, okay? It's it's kind of a lot insane. Thankfully, he didn't play anything else there. Anyway, Tess is as good as champion of fits here. So, do this, and just do this. More than one third of our uh, pile is literally creatures, and we're, and we're not hitting and we're not hitting the lottery numbers here. Okay, okay. Are you gonna get the champ? Uh, are you gonna get the flying? Oh, you did. But honestly, that's not a lot of flying. If I'm being completely real here, there's a good sh uh, shot. We. Well, that just happened. Okay, now it's suddenly dangerous. Yay! Uh, hip hip hooray, as one might say. In any case, drop this, hope for the best, let's see it to believe it. So close! Okay, champions of wits, you know, you, you know, you, you know what's up, boys. Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty good, not gonna lie, that's actually pretty good. Okay, as long as he doesn't do another one of those, I think I should have probably... Amir Triton, but that's fine. Maybe we get a Vrat. Didn't get a Vrat, but that's absolutely fine by me. Okay, boys. Okay, listen up. Another one. Okay, is he gonna play another one? Dude, if you have another Loxodon, I will scream, though. I will 100% scream. You didn't. Good. Very, very good, actually, in fact. Okay, library, let's go. And, oh, bam. We, we got the sauce, we got the hidden ninjutsu. Wait, actually, we don't have... Uh-oh. Well, this is life gain, so who honestly cares? Oh, uh, let's see. Do I... Man! Well, okay, let's go for the agent of Treshara. Uh, Treshara. Do I attack? Yeah, I attack. Why not? Honestly, why not? He let it slide, wow. Okay, and there we go, a riddle of Sut, exactly as I honestly wanted. I like it, I like it. And another agent of treachery milled. Oh no, why are you a token? Why? I hate you so much because of that, I want you gone! Well, not that that honestly matters a lot, but hey, we're gonna rat anyway, so it's fine. Well, actually, it's a token of a tree cost, but it would... Wait, did you just what me, mate? Uh, wait, what just happened? What just ha- I didn't pay attention. What just happened? Will I get- No, this is never punished to the channel. Even if I do something stupid. Oh, I actually, that was almost stupid. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the right way. Okay, never punished, boys. Survival of the please don't let me die. Woo! Wasn't wasn't even afraid, you know? 
was not even afraid. That's right, Riddle of Sut is there for a reason, my boys. And that reason is... Well, I'm, I want to steal some things. That's the kind of actual reason, reason. And he surrenders. There we go. Whew. Not gonna lie, that was kind of close for comfort. What did he do, though? Loxodons only do the Convoke thing. How did he get... Did he exile something? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm thinking because there was literally nothing that he should, that he could be playing. There's no, he had nothing in the graveyard, right? I compl I did not pay attention at all there. So what happened? Man, I'm not sure. He did something and everything got plus two too, which is insane. There's also no card with flashback that he could cast double that just gives a 1-1 one, one and it's white or green, right? I'm really confused, not gonna lie. That, that, that kind of confused the hell out of me. And we got, finally, by the way, we got the actual combo pieces. Look at this, Agent of Treachery and Blood for Bones. This is the most basic state of Agent of Treachery doing good stuff. And yes, we literally... I mean, that's that, that that's a nice button you have there, wizards. It would be cool also if, you know, it actually did something time to time, you know? Uh, 10 out of 10, actually, Giga Chat plays if it did. But anyway, we finally... Oh, wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, at least we're fine. Dude, this is the actual combo. This is how it's supposed to look. Look at this. We're gonna steal his third land right now and there's nothing he can do about it. Unless he rats, which is very unlikely because that would be deafening cl- Don't you do it. You know how I predict these cards? Because there's only one way that I can lose. And it's usually ex I mean, thank you, I guess? Oh, sure. Actually, this... Okay, we're gonna... Again, we just need to... We, we just need to get something on the field here. You know what I'm saying? J just, just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of this, a little bit. He's gonna probably remove it, though. Wow, that's a lot of lands. Thank you, wizards. Thank you for showing me that the lands are definitely rigged. Oh, oh, well, we got it, we got it. So, let's see, how much do we have here? Oh, yeah, four creatures. Oh, no, five creatures. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable, even. Okay, what now? What now? You're, 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 you're playing a lot of these things. I don't care, technically, but... A hydrosis crosses? Wow. Been a while. Been a been 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 a ju been a juicy while, my dude. Okay, let me do this. And then let me just do this. Ooh, Sparko double. Nice. Okay, and let me just bounce it because reasons. If I get a okay. If I get a land. Oh no, no, that's good. That's good. Champion of Wits. Okay, if this survives. We on point, boys. We on p, p point. Okay, you know what I don't know? Can I steal an invade? Can I steal this? Can I actually just take that? That is the question. That is the that that is the big scoop here, right? Can I actually steal this? Wait. You may enter battle as a copy of a creature card in a graveyard, except it's a. He's gonna steal my shit! Okay, on purple, we can't... Oh, no! Why can you even do that? Why can you even do that? He's gonna steal my shit... Wait, is it his graveyard or my graveyard? Well, we're gonna about... We're about to find out. Any creature... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Bravissimo! Bravi, wait a minute. Still on top, baby boo, what's up? Oh no, he's gonna steal. Wait, that just resurrects it as a saga. 
Yeah, not impressed. Not impressed at all. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe I should use this. Nah, it's garbage. Oh, yeah. You know, and you know what's not garbage? Doing this. Because we're gonna steal the Tessa back, because that's my Tessa! There's no reason to be that angry, but you get the point. Okay, do that, and sure, my Triton, why not? And now, we steal the Tessa. By the way, I have been in these situations. He's such an idiot for stealing the Tessa. When... Uh, Viscuzzi? Well, I mean, how am I gonna win two games in a row in a format this rigged? I'm pretty sure no one's honestly asking that question. But the fact that, you know, wait, there's no more agents of treachery. No, no, there's one agent of treachery left. Ha! Ah, yay. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Well, I can actually copy Niv Miz, uh, Niv Mizzet, which would be hilarious. But is there a point in copying Niv Mazite? Yeah, sure, why not? For the lulls at this point. Oh, right, can't do that. Forgot about it. Well, again, it's not like we can win two games in a row, because this format is so poor with players. Wizards just... Wizards is afraid to actually let anything in the hands of the players, which is insane. This is why people leave this format, Wizards. Okay? This is... I need a haircut also. Damn, so much. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go get a... Fo uh, I'm gonna go get a haircut. She's gonna be... Ooh, how's it doing? A wink, wink, and I'm gonna be good. How about you? And then we're gonna talk, and then she's gonna, you know, cut my hair, and then she's gonna get a little bit too close. Oh, it's a classic dance, boys. It's a classic dance. Good times, though. Good times. Oh, good times. Thankfully, she's hot. Oh, yeah. In any case, what were... Oh, magic. Right, right, right. The sad thing. <laughs> it's a sad thing. Oh, boy. Man, but seriously. Wizards is wondering why people are leaving magic. And, you know, maybe it's the fact that it's literally impossible... Did we play against this guy already? Maybe it's the fact that it's impossible to actually have a game where your input matters. How about that? Also, we literally just got a fully unplayable hand out of 10. <sighs> a vampire? Ooh, cool. Well, that's actually pretty good, but anyone want to pl place bets on the fact that we get action? <laughs> <laughs> Will we even- Oh, Ragdos, okay. Bang Basta. Oh yeah, this is someone who needs a win. Th this this is someone who needs a dub, boys. I would wish to take his dub away from him so he cries, but he's probably- he Wizards probably understands that this person needs a dub and- it, Well, they, they need it a lot, okay? Oh, <gasps> land, that actually works. If I can drop two gates of the afterlife and then I can drop a tome bound lich, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. Unless this guy has graveyard destruction, which seems stupid considering he has Shambies and these guys. Voldar and Epicure. Wow, have never read the name of that card. I, I think it's shit. What do you, what do you want from me? In any case, let's see. Another Zomble. Wow, when I drop that Tone Bound Ledge, this guy's gonna literally cry himself to sleep. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah. You could... Oh, could you crew? Yeah, you could crew. He, so he just chose to not crew and do the stupid thing. Nice. In any case, that's two gates of the afterlife. We could be popping off any moment now. We could be literally popping off, boys. Come on, pop it off. A uh, Oni Anvil? I mean, cute, but no cigar. You do have a blood token. Oh, actually, this does make sense. Uh, with the Oni Anvil. Okay. I don't have that many problems with this card if they are, if you're actually using the Oni Anvil. Because anything else is stupid. In any case, let's do this. Uh, it doesn't matter. The colors are all there. And now let's just do this. And let's see what happens. Well, that obviously happens, so let's see. I can also test it. Instant removal? Oh no, say it ain't so! 
Take action, of course. And a Mire Triton, let's go. Take action, a little bit more action, of course. Another one, let's go. And now we're getting all the lands that I never wanted in my life. Yay! A Sorange! Dude! Wizards! Come on! Cut. Well, he's actually looking at the top card for some stupid reason. Okay, that's cool. Oh, boy. Well, Amir Trident is gonna give me a bunch of life, so technically win. And again, we can draw another Amir Trident. Any time a creature we control uh, gets removed, we get two life because of the gates of the afterlife. People underestimate the gates so hard. Because these bad boys give you one life when a creature gets removed. They're honestly kind of OP OP. Well, obviously. Otherwise, we would not exactly be using them, right? Makes sense. In any case... Uh, he do Wow! Drew, drew a Jace! Oof! I mean... Impressive. I'm... I'm impressed how hard Wizards is trying to make... To make us scoop the whoop. Okay, let's see what he does now. Nothing! Okay. Okay. Voltonic Surge. I'm not dead, right? Ah! <laughs> of course! Of course he... Of course he gets... Oh, he went for the Agent of Treachery. Well, that's not big smart. That's stupid. Good. He's probably gonna attack. Yep. They always do. Yeah, I'm gonna block that one, obviously. They always do. And that's gonna be... Well, actually, that's not six just yet, but, you know, close and... Oh, look at that Giga Brain play right there. Wow. Very impressive. Wow. Yeah. That's some impressive stuff, right? Oh, look at that. Let, uh, look at it go. That's right. Look at it go. And why are we resurrecting? Well, an agent of treachery and probably stealing that thing. That's right. Okay, got that. If we draw a land, I think we can actually pop off. But, you know, why pop off if you can not pop off? You know what I'm saying? In any case, Agent of a Treasury. And what do we want? Well, a Mire Triton, obviously. I think I can... Wait. I can use you, right? Yeah, I can definitely use you, right? One, two, three. Three is a fine number. Okay. What are you- Dude, just do stuff! Oh, a Voltonic Surge. Okay, very unimpressed, not gonna lie. Because I'm getting stuff, I'm getting a Kajiro, you know? Okay, and now we're gonna discard one Jace, because reasons. Then we're gonna do this, and... Ah, uh, Gate of the Afterlife, sure. Okay, so now drop this. Watch this. Yeah, never expected that one now, did you, Chief? Oh, never expected that one. Oh, no. And now 8 HP. Again, this thing... <sighs> this was literally the best build for m a month at least in this game. And then Wizards decided, hey, you know what? We're gonna destroy everyone's fun and just rig the matchmaking to absolute unbelievable amounts. And that's how we got here. Not great. Not great, wizards. Not great. But in any case, we got a Sorin. <laughs> we got a Sorin, boys. Oh, he's attacking. Well, it doesn't matter what he goes for. He's probably gonna go for an Agent of Treachery. Not a big deal. Maybe he goes... Oh, he... No, I thought he's gonna go for the Gate of the Afterlife for a moment. But again, who honestly cares, right? There is a chance, though, he does drop a second Graveyard Trespasser because of reasons. But... Low ball. Uh, again, a kind of low ball-esque estimates right there. Okay, do this. Uh, Ron, you have to go, sadly. Well, actually, not sad at all. <laughs> I kind of dislike you, Ron, and not gonna lie. Good art, but still kind of disliking you. In any case... Uh, popping off. We're gonna win this one. We're gonna definitely win this one. Impure fish bag. Okay, you 
You did your best. You 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 tried, my dude. You you really did. I'm impressed. Also, non tokens, by the way. Stupid but true. Man, this guy Man, this guy's trying so hard! Absolute insane. This guy is actually trying so hard to survive. Almost admirable, but not really. So, let's do this. One's in the graveyard, right? Wait, I actually need to check. One? Yeah, one's in the graveyard. One is in the library. So, let's go. And you know what? Let's do... I, I like that feeling, so let's just do it again, you know? Wink, wink. And... Graveyard. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff! In any case, so what are we gonna get here? What, what, what's the play? What are we doing? Well, probably... First things first is definitely... Oh, wow, none of these. Well, this one's pretty cute, so actually gonna do it. And you know what else is cute? Tonebound Lich, baby. The cutest of them all, as one might say. The cutest of them all. And yeah, I don't need the other worldly gaze anymore. Nice. Okay, do this. And just attack. Is he gonna block? He doesn't block even. Okay, well make makes honestly sense, right? Make, make does it does make sense. Oh, uh, don't care about this. So it doesn't matter what we discard at this point, okay? Very, very little matters what we discard at this point. So and well, let's see what happens. He does the thing. Come on, we have vampires, we have tonebound liches, we have so much sauce here, my dude. You can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna win. You you know it's scoop o'clock. You know it's happening. I'm pretty sure we played it. A futile battle. Okay, time to otherworldly gaze this. Okay, what am I even doing? Uh, nope. Actually, that's pretty neat. Actually, I don't want any of these. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, let's just ditch every single one of them. Again, we can mill ourselves. Very, 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 very unbelievably easy. You know? Oh! 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 Yo! 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 Insane in the membrane. Damn. Hmm. Wait, does this go to the graveyard if it's a copy of a thing? Uh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it actually sadly did. But that's fine. Uh, that is, that is still fine. Oh, dude, this guy's being so, so obtuse. Don't know even what that means. Probably that's a bad word. I, I want to surrender honestly against this 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 dude now because it's get it's getting annoying. He this he's gonna just battle this out until his last breath and that's not even gonna be worth it. I, I, I'm serious. This guy is definitely just gonna battle it out until the last moment. Uh, wait, did it go to the graveyard or not? I almost feel like it. It almost feels like it didn't. Huh. Very interesting. Oh, and now he does. Whoo! Man, I thought he's not gonna do it. Come on. There's a gate of the afterlife there. You're not winning. Okay. In any case, this was Quizzer7. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.